Hello, welcome to Joe Academy where learning becomes much much easier. So in this video, this is part two on this series of um, shots caught in Matuan one one. And now we have um, it's a short cut on complex number. We have been asked to evaluate i raised power of 23. We have been given option i, minus 1, 1, and minus i. So moving to the condition, since i raised power of 23 is, 23 is an odd number, so we'll move to the condition if n is odd. So if n minus 1 is a multiple of 4, answer is equal to i. If n minus 1 is not, please mind you, there's a mistake here. If n minus 1 is not a multiple of 4, answer is minus i. So now we we'll move to uh, our n is 23. 23 minus 1 is 22. Is 22 a multiple of 4? The answer is no. So since it's not a multiple of 4, our answer is minus i. So it's as easy as that. Had it been when we subtracted n minus 1 and what we had was a multiple of 4, it means our answer will be i. But if n is even let's say n is 46 we'll come to the condition if n is even if n is a multiple of 4 answer is 1 is 46 a multiple of 4 no so i didn't mean it was iris power of 46 our answer will be minus 1 since n is not a multiple of, a multiple of 4 so we'll be moving over to the next trick on complex number we have evaluate i minus 3i over minus 3 minus 4i so this is what we've been asked to evaluate there's actually a trick that you can solve um, that you can actually use to solve and it will give you an answer as quick as possible now first of all you know what you're meant to do is to rationalize the denominator your denominator is not supposed to be a complex number it's not supposed to have i i in it so um, by rationalizing it means you are multiplying this fraction by the addictive inverse of this so it will be times this times minus 3 plus 4i over minus 3 plus 4i so what's the short once you see a question like this in your e-test or e-exams go straight to the denominator which is minus 3 minus 4i so squared the first number which is minus 3 it gives us 9 then squared the second number which is minus 4 it gives us 16 add them up 9 plus 16 is 25 so it means our denominator will b25 must b25 so i look at option a my denominator is 25 is likely an, an answer i look at b is not 25 i look at c is 25 i look at d it is not 25 so my options have been narrowed down to just two which is a and c so in cases where all the options or the rest of the options the does not add up to what you have it means the ones that add up is the correct answer so what you just do to the denominator square the first one and square the second one add them together that should be your denominator then for how, how do you know which of them is correct i've done a video on that multiplication of complex numbers so you can actually watch the video the link will be in the description below we'll be able to multiply the numerator to get the correct answers in the next video i'll be showing you how the e centers calculator operates and what you should know about it so if you are yet to subscribe make sure you hit the subscription button and click on the notification bell to get notified anytime you post a tutorial or a shortcut